is your next session of your class 10 mathematics ncrt or cbsc and this is your second chapter triangles exercise 2.5 and your problem number is 11 let's see the problem an aeroplane leaves an airport and flies due north at a speed of 1000 kilometers per hour Okay, something I have drawn here. Look here carefully. You can see two aeroplanes, right? So, imagine they are aeroplanes. Colorful aeroplanes are there here for you. So, now, look here at a B point. What is a B point here, children? It is an airport. Imagine here there is an airport. Okay. So, once again read this. An aeroplane leaves at the airport and flies due to north. Do you know the direction? North, South, East, West. Okay. So, from here, it flies towards North at a speed of 1000 kilometers per hour. Speed given, we don't know distance. What is the distance from B to C? We don't know. What is the speed it is flying? 1000 kilometers per hour. So, now, at the same time, at the same time from here, the another aeroplane, another aeroplane leaves the same airport. So, in an airport, an aeroplane flies towards north with the speed of 1000 kilometers per hour and another aeroplane from the same airport flies towards west with the speed of 1200 kilometers per hour. What is the speed children? 1200 kilometers per hour. Do you know distance here? We don't know distance. And look here. How far apart will be the two planes after one and half hour? We know speed and we know time. After one and half hour, uh, how much distance they are apart? We are not calculating this in ground. We are calculating in sky this one. So, I have drawn here clouds also. So, two aeroplanes are like this. Okay, what is the distance between them after one and half hour is your question. So, first to find this, see here, it is looking like a right angle triangle. Okay, so how can you calculate this one? This is airport. This moving towards north, this moving towards west. It did not stop. But after one and a half hour, what is the distance between the two planes is your question. Look here. The first plane, your solution. The first plane travels distance BC in the direction of north. In one and half hour at a speed of 1000 kilometers per hour. We know speed and time. Can we find distance? Yes, we can find. What is the formula? S is equal to D by T. Speed equal to distance by time. When we need distance and this time this side distance is equal to speed into time. So, we are calculating first airplane. VC is equal to speed how much? 1000 kilometers per hour time 1 and half mixed fraction convert here 1 and half 2 into 1 2 2 plus 1 3 convert to improper fraction that will be 2 cancel 2 5 sir 500 sir 500 into 3 1500 kilometers is the distance what is the distance from B to C now? 1500 kilometers distance. Okay. Now, the second plane travels a distance BA in the direction of west. Okay. This plane. This is second and this is your first plane. In one and a half hours at a speed of 1200 kilometers per hour. Same formula. What is that? Distance AB equal to speed into time. Speed how much here? 1200 into time. Time how much? 1 and a half. Convert here. 
that will be 3 by 2. 2 six hundreds. That will be 600 into 3 will be how much? 1800 kilometers is the distance. What is AB distance? 1800 kilometers we got. Now can't we find the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is the distance between the two planes. So right angle triangle ABC. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Look here hypotenuse. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So let's apply the formula here. We don't know AC square. What is AB here? 1800. That will be 1800 whole square plus BC is how much? 1500 whole square. So now how much you are going to get? 1800 means 3 to 4 0 0 0 0 plus that will be 15 15 so 225 and followed with 4 zeros. Look here this one. How much it will be? 32 lakhs 40,000 and 22 lakh 50,000. Add these two. 0, 0, 0, 0 and it will be 9, 4, 5. 54 lakhs 90,000 you got. Now what is this one? AC square. We want only AC. We don't want square. Square if you don't want, send that square other side. It will be square root. AC is equal to square root of 54 lakhs 90,000. Look here. How are you going to get this 300 outside? 90,000 into 61 is this one. 90,000 into 61 is 54 lakhs 90,000. 90,000. If you remove square root, what happens? It will be 90,000. Look here. 90,000 into 61 is that value. So, two zeros split into pairs. That will be two zeros. You are going to get three threes and nine. If you remove square root, 300 root of 61 meters. What is your answer here? 300 root 61 meters is the distance between two aeroplanes. So now final answer here children. Uh, what is the final answer? The two planes are at a distance of 300 root 61 meters apart. Okay, let's see the 12th problem here. Two poles of height 6 meter and 11 meter. Can you see here 6 meter and 11 meter two poles are there here. This is one pole and that is one pole. That is A, B, C, D. Stand on a plain ground. This is a plain ground. If the, the distance between the foot of the poles is 12 meter. Find the distance between their tops. See here children. Bottom from here to here it is 12 meter. Then from there top of the pole is A and that pole is C. What is the distance between A and C is your question. How can you find children A C? For that purpose look here carefully. I know this pole length is how much? 6 meter. So that level I have drawn a straight line. Then what will be this one? What will be this one? This will be 6 meters. Then what is E C? Total pole length is 11. 11 minus 6 will be how much? 5 meters. Observe carefully what am I doing here. EC is 5 meters. Then here it is 12 meter. Then here it will be same. That will be AE is equal to 12 meters. Find AC distance is your question. So observe here children. Poles are perpendicular. Right? Then it creates a right triangle. Then forget about the bottom part. Only consider this right triangle and apply Pythagoras theorem. You are going to get the answer. Let AB and CD are two poles. AB, CD are two poles of height 6 meters and 11 meters. 
The distance between the foot of the poles is 12 meter. What is the question here children? They asked you to find AC. AC is equal to question mark. Top of the poles distance is equal to question mark. So now we are going to substitute here. Look here. AC we don't know. We need to calculate. AB is equal to DE is equal to 6 meters are taken. And complete DC is how much? DC is 11 meters. DC, I am going to split it as DE plus EC is equal to 11. What is DE? DE is 6. Substitute here. EC is equal to 6. Send other side. 11 minus 6 that will be 5 meters. What is EC children? 5 meters. Similarly, we can write it as AE is equal to BD is equal to 12 meters. AE is equal to BD is equal to 12 meters. Now, consider, consider the right triangle AEC. Apply Pythagoras. Right here, by applying Pythagoras theorem, we get, what is hypotenuse? AC square is equal to AE square plus EC square. What is AC? We don't know. We need to calculate that. AE, 12. 12 whole square. EC, 5 whole square. That will be AC square is equal to 12, 12 is 144, 5, 5 is 25. Add this, that will be 169. AC square is 169. Then what is AC? Apply square. Send other side, it will be square root. AC is equal to root of square root of 169. That will be 13 meters is your answer. This, how did you get children? By Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So now, AC is equal to how much? 13 meters. What is AC? What is the verbal statement we need to end? All verbal problems we need to write with the steps neatly children. With the statements we need to write. And ending also with the statement should be there. So how do you end your statement? What is the last sentence? Find the distance set. Okay, therefore, the distance between their tops, AC is equal to 13 meters. Okay, let's see the 13th problem here, children. D and E are points on the side C and CB. So, D and E are the points on the sides AC and CB, respectively, of a triangle ABC. So, first what you need to identify? You need to identify a triangle ABC. Then D is a point on AC and E is a point on BC. Okay. So, what did they give here? Right angle that is C. Okay. Prove that A E square. A E. So, what do I need? First D E I have joined. A E question in question A E there. So, from E I have joined A. And again BD. So again from D to join B. Now how many right triangles you can see? Something they asked to prove. Right? Leave it. If we go on doing, we will get the answer. How many right triangles you can see here children? Identify. So I will see the letter. You just identify and figure. Triangle ABC. Yes. Triangle DBC. Triangle AEC and triangle DEC. So, four right triangles we can see. So, what we can see the right triangles? Apply Pythagoras theorem. We may get the answer. So, look here. Solution. Given ABC is a right triangle, where it is right angle at C. DE are the points on C and CB. We write one more point. Construction. Join AE and db to prove a square plus bd square is equal to ab square plus de square how do we start our proof 
we need to split four right triangles here. How we need to split here? So look here carefully. First right triangle. B, A, C. Big one. The next one, I take this one. Okay. E, A, C. Second one. The next, I take this one. B, C, D. Then small one. E, C, D. So look here. These four right angle triangles, are you able to identify in one figure? So these triangles pick one by one and apply Pythagoras theorem. Consider. Consider right angle triangle you can say or triangle ABC. Say so, yeah, apply Pythagoras or you may write by by Pythagoras theorem. Apply here what is the hypotenuse? AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. Okay, mark it first equation. Now, second one children consider right triangle ACE. You can write here normal triangle or right triangle, no problem. They given it is perpendicular, so if you want you can write right triangle. Second one. A, C, E. What is the hypotenuse? A, E square is equal to A, C square plus C, E square. Mark it second equation. Take the third figure. Look the third figure. Observe carefully. It is a right triangle. So now consider or in right triangle B, C, D. What is the hypotenuse? B, D. BD square is equal to BC square plus CD square. Mark it third equation. Last one. In right triangle DCE. What is the hypotenuse? DE square is equal to CE square plus CD square. Mark it fourth equation. So now... By using the figure, I got four equations. So now let's see here once again. A is square, B is square. Let me consider what we need to prove. In that left hand side, I see there. So now where is A E? Second equation. Where is B D? Third equation. So now add, add equation 3. Add equation. Cut, cut. Add equation 2 and 3. What we are going to get? A square plus BD square is equal to. What is A value here? AC square plus CE square plus BC square plus CD square. Don't be confused children. I didn't do anything. So this plus this and this set plus this set. You need to add. Now observe carefully. So, what is AC plus BC? AC square plus BC square is how much? AB square. So, again, C square plus CD square is what? D square. So, from, from equation 1 and 4. So, you write in brackets. How do we write this? A E square plus B D square is equal to A C square plus B C square is A B square and C E square plus C D square is D E square. Hence it is proved. So just have a look here. Already it is done. Right? With this we are going to end our session today children. So in our next session, it is nothing but the last session of your triangles. Thank you all children. Keep watching.